Okay, Assalamualaikum and hello. Uh, so we are going to go through the note today. Uh, this is the book that I'm going to be going to use. You can have this or download from the uh, Facebook. Our note from the blank space, and this is our slide that we're going to use. So let me go through this book first. So uh, as uh, we can see, the first begin with the. Uh, PLC or we call it programmable logic controller uh, is a machine that can store instruction of memory to execute some specific process so these are the the example of PLC one there's uh, there are mini PLC there are also micro PLC they are also very big PLC so all this is just a controller that store information store programs that to execute uh, to control input and output so why do we need to use PRC? Because our class is about automation. So most of the automation in industry, they're using PRC. Okay, so let, let's go through um, this uh, PRC. So why not we using computer then? Why not use Why not using computer instead of PRC? Well, P computer is meant is not meant for robots for uh, industry environment where there's a vibration there will be a, a noise or dust so it's not meant for that it's not robust enough so PLC is much more robust and versatile in, in that, that kind of situation so that's why we are turning into PLC using PLC so and, and it's very difficult when when when, PLC, when pro, with PC when it broke down you have everything go down so with the program, with the hardware, so it's hard to uh, troubleshoot. Uh, whereas PSC, you just can swipe it, replace it one to one, right? Or you can check wha whatever happened there. So, so that's why we're not using uh, personal computer. We're using PLC. So, so you, uh, before this, uh, a long time ago, they're using a relay to control input and output. This, this example of the relay. Nowadays we're using PRC, so look how uh, it has been uh, reduced from the relay to PRC. No more messy wiring, no more a lot of uh, space consuming. All they take care by PRC because we we have uh, we are doing the programming, the software on the control this. So, um, so another then let's see what is the benefit of using PRC. Uh, number one, it increases reliability. You can look at this uh, explanation. Uh, why is it reliable? Because uh, there is no chance of making logic wiring error. If you look at the uh, this diagram, if there is any mistake, it's hard to debug to where, where which one is wrong, which one is the wrong, wrong wiring. Whereas in PRC, done in software, so it's much more reliable in that case. Much more flexibility because uh, instead of the relationship between input and output are determined by user program instead of the way they connected like wiring here right so so and then uh, it's lower cost and of course it's going to be lower cost because speed saving cost saving really is much more expensive right this one PLC is much more less expensive than to install than, than that is less expensive using PLC Communication. PLC communicate with controller uh, in real time. So we can we yeah, we can see this one um, as figure one five. We have a port at the back of PLC which you, you can control it remotely. So that let's say this is monitor for remote and this PLC in the industry you can look what happened in the uh, in the line. So for example, uh, this on the line is counting the table using sensor count one by one one by one. So all this are feeding into the con controller so the communication will be done in real time uh, that's another one faster response time because PRC has been designed for high speed and real time uh, application so that's why it's been it's, uh, it's very fast huh? uh, easy to troubleshoot because uh, PRC have a resident diagnostic and override function that allow user to correct and trace any prob problem with the software or programming or hardware so it's easy to find and easy to fix okay so um, these are the advantages of 
um using prc